Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. BuzzFeed News is shutting down, and I'm not at all surprised. What's unfortunate is that 180 people are being laid off in the process, which represents 15% of BuzzFeed's total workforce. And the reason is because, as CEO Jonah Peretti wrote to the staff today, BuzzFeed News is not profitable. Personally, I can't recall the last time I looked at an article on BuzzFeed or BuzzFeed News. Going forward, BuzzFeed will concentrate its news efforts in a single profitable news organization, HuffPost, which it acquired from Verizon in 2020, and which I still refer to as Huffington Post. In addition, the company's flagship BuzzFeed.com site will remain in place, which, as I said, I rarely look at that. In the memo, Peretti said, I made the decision to overinvest in BuzzFeed News because I love their work and mission so much. This made me slow to accept that the big platforms wouldn't provide the distribution or financial support required to support premium, free journalism purpose-built for social media. Alongside the shutdown of BuzzFeed News, Chief Revenue Officer Edgar Hernandez and COO Christian Basler are leaving the company, whose responsibilities are now being taken over by BuzzFeed President Marcella Martin. According to a BuzzFeed rep, there are ongoing discussions about the future of BuzzFeedNews.com, but all of BuzzFeed News' work will be preserved and available within the BuzzFeed network. The company is also working to ensure that any stories currently in the works from the BuzzFeed News team will be published and promoted on BuzzFeed properties as well. BuzzFeed.com and HuffPost will be offering roles to a number of BuzzFeed News journalists to match areas where they're interested in expanding coverage, the rep added. The spokesperson said that no jobs are being replaced by AI. According to an SEC filing, BuzzFeed will incur between $7 million to $11 million in charges related to the layoffs. Given that I didn't actually read anything on BuzzFeed News, I won't personally miss its absence. But I do feel bad for the 180 people who are being laid off as a result. Thanks for watching today. And a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.